Hey, what's happening guys? National Pancake Day, it's either today or tomorrow, depending on when this video comes out. And last week to celebrate the holiday, I showed you how to make almond flour keto pancakes. This week to celebrate the pancake holiday, I'm gonna show you how to make coconut flour cream cheese pancakes, just because some people are allergic to almonds or uh, they don't wanna spend the money on almond flour because almond flour is more expensive than coconut flour. So today we're doing a cheaper, nut friendlier version of a low carb keto pancake. And it's still gonna be just as delicious. These pancakes are so soft, so fluffy, so good. And each one of these pancakes has just over one net carb. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into this one, make some pancakes. All right, so like always, we're gonna be weighing out the ingredients. So we we'll wanna get out our food skill and we're gonna be making these keto pancakes in our blender. So we'll wanna get that out as well. And now we're all set to start adding our liquid ingredients. The first liquid ingredient we're adding to the blender is two large eggs. And we're also gonna add an egg yolk as well. So now we're gonna add a little bit of sweetness to the batter of these pancakes. And we're gonna do that by adding some carb-free, calorie-free pancake syrup. The brand that I like to use is Walden Farms. If you wanna pick some of this stuff up, there's a link in the video description below to get it. And for today's keto pancake recipe, we're gonna add a tablespoon or 15 grams of that to the blender as well as a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we'll also wanna add two ounces or 56 grams of softened full fat cream cheese to our blender as well. So now that we've got all the liquid ingredients added to the blender, we're just gonna bring it over to the base of the blender, pop the top on and blend everything until the cream cheese dissolves totally into all the other ingredients and a smooth creamy consistency forms in our blender. All right, so once that happens, we're gonna bring our blender back over to our food scale and start adding the dry ingredients. The first dry ingredient we're adding is coconut flour. And for today's low carb keto pancakes, we we'll wanna use three tablespoons or 21 grams of it. Coconut flour itself is kind of higher in carbs and to decrease the carb count of these pancakes, I decided to use a little bit of unflavored whey protein powder. If you don't have unflavored whey protein powder, it's really nice to bake with here and there and to reduce the carb count of recipes, which is what I'm doing with today's keto coconut flour pancakes. But if you don't have unflavored whey protein, don't worry, I'll leave some instructions in the video description below for you. But with that being said, today I'm using about a half a scoop or 12 grams of the unflavored whey for my pancakes. So once we've got that stuff added in there, we're gonna sweeten our pancakes up just a little bit more by adding some confectioner's erythrol. Erythrol is a zero carb, zero calorie sweetener. And for today's low carb keto coconut flour pancakes, we'll wanna use about a half a tablespoon or six grams of it. And then last but not least, to make our pancakes rise and make them fluffy, we're gonna add a teaspoon of baking powder. So now at this point, we'll pop the top back onto the blender and blend everything until combined. I actually recommend blending your pancake batter for a couple of minutes because I've just found that the longer I blend my batter for, the fluffier my pancakes turn out. And my other tip for making pancakes in the blender is transferring the batter to a pourable cup, like a measuring cup, because it's gonna make your life a lot easier when the time comes to pour your last pancake. Speaking of pouring pancakes, you wanna pour the batter into a pan coated with oil and set to medium low heat. With that being said, you wanna cook the first side of your pancake until bubbles start to form on the surface of the pancake. Once that happens, you can give your pancake a flip and you'll wanna cook the other side of the pancake until you can take your finger, kinda of like I'm doing here, and press down on the middle of the pancake and the middle is firm. Once you can do that, that's when your pancake is done. And then check this out. This is what these keto coconut flour cream cheese pancakes end up looking like and how delicious do these look. As always, for more information about today's pancake recipe, check out the video description below and I hope you enjoy them.